Good evening. How was your day? Hello, teacher. Yeah. Hello. Have you finished section three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday. Good. And what about the middle term exam? Have you started it? Sí, I'm complete and uh, finished. The exam. Wow. Nice. You will give me the answers today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, tomorrow. Hmm. Tomorrow. Okay. okay, okay. Yes, because today we will be just reading it and see if your classmates have any doubts about the items. Okay. But it's good that you are working ahead. That's the idea. I had some students that for the second week, they have finished all the course, but they still come to class to check the other things and to practice. That's the beautiful thing about uh, virtual, uh, virtual education that can, you can go on your own path. Well, it's nine. Only eight people, but we will start. Now, we will be seeing now comparative adjectives. Uh, remember that the adjective is the word that um, um, tell us how the nouns are, okay? But in this case, they are comparing. True teachers are those who help us think for ourselves, okay? Los verdaderos profesores son aquellos que nos ayudan a pensar por nosotros mismos. Okay, nice. I like it. And that's the idea. Now, we will be starting with the knowledge check. Okay, look at the following pictures. What are these things made of? Identify each one. Use the words from the list. Okay. We have here cotton rubber, gold silk, leather silver, plastic wool, okay? Uh, do you know the meaning of each of these materials? Do you know what cotton means? Algodon. Excellent. Rubber? I think that is like a material de llanta. Yes. Gold, Oro. silk, Seda. leather, Oro. Oro. silver, plata, no sé cómo decirlo. Yes, plata. 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 Okay. plata, plastic, 
plastic. Plastic. Gul. Gul is. Yeah. Lana. 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 Yeah. Okay. Lana. Now, this is a plastic bracelet. Okay. This is a. A bracelet. A gold. Uh, a gold ring. Gold ring. Okay. This is a. Silk tie. Silk, Silk tie. tie. And these are. Wool socks. Wool socks. socks. And this is a. Leather jacket. Leather jacket. Leather jacket. Leather jacket. And this is a. Cotton, Cotton. shirt. Cotton shirt. Sure. And those are silver earrings. Silver earrings. Silver and these are rubber boots. Rubber, rubber boots. Bo okay. boots. Excellent. Now, here, the bracelet is plastic. Plastic, plastic. bracelet. Okay. Now, the ring is coal. Cold. Gold ring, okay. The tie is silk tie. A silk tie, okay. And the socks are gold no. socks. Gold socks. Aquí no debería decir a, porque es plural, okay. And the jacket is leather. Okay. Leather. And the shirt is cotton. cotton. The earrings are silver. Silver. And the boots are rubber. 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 Excellent. Okay. You are good. Everybody has it? Yes. Todos lo tienen ya? Yes. 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 Everybody? We got it. Okay. Okay. Excuse me, but when I am not using the other computer, I have to turn it on again. Okie dokie. Now, uh, somebody to read the objective, please. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Okay, thank you. Now listen. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Hi everyone, as I told you last class, we will talk about how to express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see. Preferences, comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Okay. 
Now, uh, the adjectives tell you more about the size, shape, color, etc. of a noun, okay? We put them before nouns. They do not have plurals. Example, he is tall, she is tall, they are tall. When we use an adjective, uh, uh, these, these adjectives are not before a noun because uh, we are using the verb to be. When you use the verb to be, you can use it that way, okay? When we use an adjective with a noun, the adjective must come before the noun. For example, look at my new coat. You are a young woman, okay? If you notice here, the noun is coat, and then the adjective is new, and then you say new coat, okay? Young woman. Woman is the noun, young is the adjective, has to be before the noun, okay? We form the comparative of adjectives meaning superiority with short adjectives by adding R or ER. We use the word than after the adjective. Wide, ancho. Wider than, más ancho que. Tall, alto. Taller than, más alto que. Ok. Esto no lo tienen en, en la. Esto no lo tienen en la, en la plataforma. Yo se los pongo porque me gusta darles un poquito más. Ok. With adjectives ending in Y, we change the Y for I and add ER. For example, pretty, bonita, prettier than, más bonita que. Ugly, fea o feo, uglier than, más feo que. Cuando, se, eh, cuando usamos los comparatives, we are comparing two things, ¿ok? But when we use superlatives, we are comparing more than two things, ¿ok? Well, we duplicate the last consonant letter if a vowel sound is between two consonants. For example, fat, fatter than. If you notice here, we double the last consonant. Big, big, bigger than. We double the last consonant. We form the comparative adjectives meaning superiority with long adjectives by using the word more before the adjectives. And then we write the word than after the adjective. Vicky is more beautiful than Betty. If you notice here, we have beautiful, which is the adjective, before beautiful, we use more, and after beautiful, we use than. That means that when the adjective is long, we don't add er, but we use more before the adjective, okay? Then more beautiful than, more intelligent than, okay? Betty is more intelligent than Vicky. Okay? That's me. That's why I'm Elizabeth, okay? I may, I'm, I'm maybe not more beautiful, but I am more intelligent. For me, that's much better. <laughs> now, we have here superlative adjectives. We have... Uh, one syllable and two or more syllables, okay? 
the biggest, the smallest. If you notice, we use the before the adjective and then we add EST. But also, if we have consonant, vowel consonant, we double the last consonant and add EST. This is for superlatives. This is when we are comparing more than two things, okay? And with long adjectives, we use the most. The most beautiful, the most dangerous, the most intelligent, the most understanding, the most complex, okay? Now, teacher. Yes. Uh, when uh, the adjective is long, uh, we can use more and most. We use more the adjective than uh -huh. for comparatives when you are comparing just two things. But okay. if you are most. comparing more than two things, that means three or more, you use the superlatives. And for oh. the superlatives, you use the most. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. O sea, que el comparativo es solo para comparar dos cosas. Usted eh, ocupa more o le agrega er si el, si el adjetivo es corto. Ok. En cambio aquí, para los superlativos, que es cuando usted está comparando de tres mm -hmm. a más cosas, entonces se usa est en vez de er. Uh -huh. Y se ocupa este THE Most. al principio, da. Uh -huh. O sea, uh -huh. da bigues, de uh -huh. pieces, de uh -huh. Pero cuando el adjetivo es largo, decimos de mos. Ok. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. We form the superlative degree or of short adjectives by writing the article the before the adjective and the ending est to the adjective. He is the nicest boy. Diana is the tallest girl in our classroom. With long adjectives, we use the expression the most before the adjectives. You are the most intelligent student here. It is the most expensive car in town. Okay, then here we have the positive adjective, the comparative adjectives and the superlative adjectives. Positive adjective, short. Comparative, shorter than. Superlative, the shortest. Tall, taller than the tallest. Now, you repeat after me. Short. 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 Shorter, Shorter than. than. Shorter, Shorter than. than. Shorter than. The shortest. The shortest. Tall. 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 Taller Tall. than. Taller Tall. than. Tall. The tallest. Fat. 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 The fattest. The fattest. Lazy. Lazy. Lazier than. Lazier than. The laziest. The laziest. Nice. Nice. Nicer than. Nicer, nicer than, 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 than the nicest, the, the nicest, nice. cute, cute, cuter than, cuter than, than. The, cutest. The, cutest. the cutest, beautiful, beautiful, more beautiful than, more beautiful than, the most beautiful, the most the beautiful, most beautiful. beautiful. intelligent. 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 More intelligent. intelligent than more intelligent. 
interesting. More interesting than. More interesting than. The most interesting. The most interesting. Good. Estos son irregulares. Estos son irregulares. Good. Good. Better than. Better than. The best. The best. Bad. Bad. Worse than. Worse than. The worst. Worst. Little. Little. Less than. Less than. The least. The least. Well. Well. Better than. Better than. The best. The best. The best. Much. Much. More than. More than. The most. The most. The most. The most. Many. 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 More than. More than. More than. The, the most. most. The most. Hoy vamos a la plataforma. Bueno, supuestamente aquí dice look at the pictures below and complete the following exercises using comparative adjectives now we have silk polyester small medium cotton wool Which dress is prettier? Prettier, the yellow one or the green one? Well, the green one is silk, and silk is more expensive than polyester. More expensive than polyester. Pero eso no es lo que le preguntaron. <ríe> Me preguntaron cuál era más bonito. Ok. No cuál era más caro. Now. Is this blue t-shirt larger than larger than the larger red than and white the one? Red, white. Okay. No, this is a smaller. Okay. No, the red and white one is bigger. Bigger. Look at these pants. Which ones do you like better? Better. 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 I prefer the cotton ones. They're More stylish than. More stylish than the wool ones. Vamos a ver cómo está la cosa. Ok, correct. Miren, ustedes son inteligentes. Ok, eh, ¿ya lo tienen todos? Yes. 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 Ok, eh, Sara María, read number one, please, with the correct answer. Lea la número uno. Number one. Ay. Que la lea, ¿verdad? Yes. Which, which dress is prettier, the yellow one or the green one? Okay, one. thank you. Now, uh, Jansi, number, uh, number one B. From B. Well, the green is... Silk, and silk is more expensive than polyester. Okay. Now, Elizabeth del Carmen. 2A. Is this blue t-shirt 
larger than the red and white one? No. Jessica Castro. No, the red and white one is bigger. Okay, thank you. Now, Sofia Castaneda. Mm, look at these pants. Which ones do you like better? Thank you. Now, Edwin Lopez. I prefer the green cotton on. Green They're cotton more ones. Green cotton one. They're more stylish than the wool on it. Okay, thank you very much. Y con eso hemos dado por terminada la sección 3. Ok. Entonces, permítanme, quiero ver algo. Solo quiero verificar algo. Okay. Okay, now, uh, as we already finished with the section three, we are going to check if you have any doubts about the test that you had to complete. Okay. First, you have a listening. You have to listen to this. If you cannot listen here directly, you mark this one and you will get here the drive. Then you can download it or you can listen to it as it is. I prefer to download it because sometimes this uh, stops when it doesn't have to, okay? If you download it here, it's better. Then, when you listen to the conversation, you have to answer this, okay? Who is Sylvie? Her last name. Uh, Lucy's math teacher. How is Lucy's math teacher? Uh, where they are? And in part two, you have another listening, okay? You also go, download it, listening to it, and then you say what Ben prefers and how much is are the church and what are the green chairs made of and what's Ben's size. You have to check all this. When you finish, you send it and you continue. Okay, any doubts about what you have to do here? No? No doubts? No tienen dudas? Okay. Yes. Then you, yes, teacher. you go on with part B, and here you have to fill in the blanks. You have to fill in the blanks with the verb to be, okay? Where I'm from Mexico City, how about you? Then you have to write here, what is the answer here, okay? Don't tell me until tomorrow. 
You will tell me tomorrow. We are just checking right now for the ones that have not uh, done it yet, can do it from today to tomorrow. And we will check tomorrow during the class. Then, number three, you have to fill in with the verb to be that corresponds. Remember that here, here, math class is the subject. David is the subject. Maria and Brian, both of them is the subject. Here we have to complete with the present simple, okay? Remember that with other than B, we use a specific auxiliary, okay? You have to use this the auxiliary that corresponds to the subject. Here is one and here is another one, okay? Here you have to put the simple present verb. Okay. Any doubts? No. No doubts? Okay. No. Let's continue in the C section. You have to circle the word. You cannot circle the word here. So you have to a check which is the answer, okay? Nice to meet you. And what's, okay, you have to, to choose from these ones, which is here. Then, last name is Parker. It's nice to meet you too. Then you have to decide what is happening here. Now, this is my new friend, Elizabeth. Everyone calls, you have to choose from here what is here, okay? And the same happened here. Hi, Beth, we're the Johnsons. We, we're the Johnsons. Then you have to decide which of these is here. Then choose the proper object pronouns, okay? Object pronouns are uh, the pronouns that goes at the end of the sentences. Uh, they are not the ones that are doing the, the action, but the, rece the receivers. For example, if I say, tell me, me is the object pronoun. But uh, who is telling me? Someone else, okay? The doer is someone else, I am the receiver. Tell me, could you tell me? Podrías decirme? This is me, is an object pronoun. I can say, I give you the class. Then I am the doer, you are the receivers. I give you, okay? So those are the object pronouns. Johnny Deep is my favorite actor. Mine too. I love him in the Pirates, Caribbean Pirates. <laughs> I like a lot, okay? And he's not good choosing women. Okay, music videos aren't very interesting. Do you like, you have to choose which is the one that goes here. My favorite TV program is Survivor. What do you think of, you have to put what belongs here, okay? Then you send the responses. Do you have any doubts about this? Possessive adjectives and object pronouns. 
Okay. Now here. Complete the sentences. Complete the sentences. Fill in the gaps with the correct time expressions. I sleep on weekdays. Okay, you have to use the prepositions of time, remember? Add in on. Then John gets home late night. They have lunch Saturdays around 1 p.m. I go to bed around 11 in the evening. We have class the morning. Okay, you have to write here just the word that fills the gap. Here the same, but here you have to use demonstrative pronouns. Do you remember what the, de the demonstrative pronouns were? Yeah. Uh huh. Tell me. When is one near? Is? Is. This. Uh -huh. When is uh, far? This. That. No. That. That. Uh huh. When is more than one near? This. This. And far? Those. Those. Excellent. Okay. Okay, you have to put here, if she is trying to find the price tag, then she has it in hand, okay? If you say over there, it's not close to you. If she says that they look great on her, it's because she is wearing them. If she's asking to see it, it's because she has not in hand. And over there is that it's not close, okay? Then you have to decide if it's this, that, these, or those, okay? Now, reading. You have to do the reading and then you have to answer here. Ernesto Chris is, you have to know if it's a classmate, new friend or best friend. Chris is a part-time teacher, full-time student, TV announcer. Daniel, Works in the library, exercise every day, is Chris' friend. On Tuesdays and Thursday, Chris writes to Ernesto, works with Daniel, or doesn't study at the library. Okay? Then, after you're reading this, you have to know what to answer, what to choose here. Okay? Now, let's see. Okay, no questions? No? Then we go no to... No questions, I hope you can uh, answer them. Please, 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 please. I want to do something here.
Okay. Remember that we have some things. On hold. Uh, have you done this? Lo hicieron. Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Do you like yes, it? Yes, teacher. ¿Les gustó? Do you like it? ¿Les gustó? Sí o no? Hello. Well, I hope you like it. I will check it with you right now. Okay. Siempre me cuesta esto. Okay. Okay. Which words in a sentence are usually stressed? Uh huh. Content words or structured words? Content words. Content words, okay. Which words carry little meaning but make a sentence grammatically correct? Structured words. Structured words. When speaking English, we try to create rhythm in which the time between stress words is different. Different. No. The same. No, the same. Yes. The time. Remember that there could be uh, more than uh, more syllables, but you try to say it in the same time. When there are just one syllable, you you make it longer. And when you have several syllables you do it quickly okay to have the same time in between which is a list of content words they should through donald's eyes small content words They shall be and throw. No. No, no because, because remember the content words are nouns, uh, adjectives, and nouns. Okay. So is this. The other are structured words which are not usually stressed. ¿Cuáles no son usualmente, eh, eh, o sea, que son structured words? Prepositions, articles, pronouns, conjunctions, or nouns, main verbs, adjectives, adverbs. Los que no son estresados, o sea, que no van más fuerte, acuérdense que son los structures. Entonces, de estos, ¿cuáles son structures? Prepositions, articles, 
Yes. Now, which is the normal or neutral stress pattern? If you can, call me in the morning. If you can, call me in the morning. This one? Mm, yeah. Okay. Which is the normal or neutral stress pattern? They went to London to visit the queen. They went to London to visit the queen. The second one, they went. Yes. Okay. okay. Now, which is the normal neutral stress pattern? If we cook, could you wash the dishes? If the we cook, you could you wash the dishes? The first one. Yes. Okay. Yes. An exception to the rule. We can also stress structured words in order to provide or correct wrong information. Provide or correct. It's correct. So yeah, we can also stress the structured words in order to correct wrong information, okay? Which stress patterns corrects this statement? I'm sure they work for the police. They don't, but we do. They don't, but we do. The second one. No. They don't. El primero. Porque está corrigiendo. I am sure, I'm sure they work for the police. They don't. But we do. Está corrigiendo. Ellos no trabajan para la policía, pero nosotros sí. Está corrigiendo. ¿Ok? Entonces es este. Vamos a ver. Easy. 10 of 10, estamos bien. Miren. Espero que les haya gustado. Este es un examen afuera de la plataforma. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, now let's see another thing. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me. Uh, there is a final day uh, to send exam answer. Uh, well, you are supposed to finish everything for uh, the last week, but mm -hmm. it is ideal that mm -hmm. you work as a schedule. So you are supposed to finish the middle term exam for tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes. Okay, That's thank why you. Tomorrow we will be checking it during this class, during the class, to see if you have finished it and if you have it correctly, okay? If you don't have it correctly, we will correct it. Okay, okay. thank you. You're welcome. Well, remember that you have your list of verbs 
And I ask you to make the changes for the verbs. Here we have the, the rules. Most of the verbs in English form the third person singular by adding S, okay? Sings, gives, requires. Verbs ending in O, C, H, S, S, H, X, or Z form the third person singular by adding E, S, okay? Goes, watches, misses, rushes, mixes, buzzes. Verbs ending in a consonant Y, so just try, form the third person singular by changing Y to I and adding ES. Try, tries. And here we have Affirmative, negative, interrogative, and just no questions. Okay, in, in simple present. I live in Mexico. I do not live in Mexico or I don't live in Mexico. Do I live in Mexico? Now, repeat after me. You watch television. You watch television. You, you do watch not television. watch television. Teacher. Yes. You no you watch do. television. No está presentando lo que... No se está presentando. Sí. Esa cosa. Y aquí me dice que supuestamente sí. O sea, Ahora no, está presentando. No, no nada. Ahora, Ahora sí. Hoy sí. Ahora sí. sí. Yes. Ok, thank you. Ok. I live in Mexico. I live in Mexico. I do not live in Mexico. I live in Mexico. Do I live in Mexico? Do I live in Mexico? In Mexico? You watch television. You, you watch, watch television. television. You do not watch television. You don't know watch television. Do you watch television? Do you watch television show? He goes to the stadium. He goes to the stadium. He doesn't go to the stadium. He doesn't go to the stadium. Do you watch? Does he go to the stadium? Does he go to the stadium? She washes the dishes. She washes the dishes. She does not wash the dishes. She does not wash the dishes. Does she wash the dishes? Does she wash the dishes? Si se fijan, corazones, aquí dice goes. Pero aquí dice go, porque cuando ya está el auxiliar en tercera persona, el verbo queda en su forma simple. Lo mismo sucede con el interrogativo. El auxiliar está en tercera persona, el verbo queda en su forma simple. ¿Ok? Ok. Now, we get up early. We, we, we get, get up early. early. We do not get up early. We, we do not, not get, get up, up early. early. Do we get up early? Do, do you we get, up get up early? early? You wear jeans. You, you wear jeans. jeans. You do not wear jeans. You, you do, do not, not wear, wear jeans. jeans. Do you wear jeans? Do, do you, you wear, wear jeans? jeans? They live in that house. They, they live in that house. house. They, in house. they don't live in that house. They don't live in that house. Do they live in that house? They, they, they live, live in that house. house. Uh -huh. Okay, now, uh, with your list of verbs, uh, please try to make affirmative sentences.
And since we are 22 people and we have uh, 60 birds for each. Sería como a tres para cada uno. Oh, no. Dos. Dos verbos para cada uno. A ver. Uh, eh, Rafael Cruz, eh, eh, ¿con cuál quieren trabajar? ¿Con los verbos regulares o los irregulares? Irregulares. Con los irregulares. Vale. Entonces, este, Rafael Cruz, usted va a hacer los primeros dos. Los primeros dos verbos de la lista. Elizabeth del Carmen, usted el 3 y el 4. Eh, Jessica Castro, 5 y 6. Doris Yasmín, 7 y 8. Ana Margarita, 9 y 10. Sara María, 11 y 12. Yancy, 13 y 14. Edwin López, 15 y 16. Carmen Lisset, 17 y 18. Kevin Daniel, 19 y 20. Emma, 21 y 22. Catherine Iracema, 23 y 24. Sofía Castaneda, 25-26. Sandra Noemí, 27-28. Luis Colocho, 29-30. Ruth Abigail, eh, 31-32. Bela Lorena, 33-34. Natalie Patricia, 35-36. Y Natalie Miranda. 37, 38 y Mónica Barisol 39, 40. ¿Ok? Se me escapó uno. <risa> me gusta molestar. ¿Ok? Le voy a poner la lista de verbos por si no las han imprimido todavía. Dijimos irregulares. Vale, ahí están. Entonces, ustedes hacen la afirmativa y este traten que sean tercera, per, eh, tercera persona y cualquiera de las otras personas. O sea, ya sea I, you, we, or they, y tercera persona. No se por, ve ejemplo, la por ejemplo, eh, voy a escoger de las últimas porque estas no están dadas. No se ve la, la lista. La lista, permítame. ¿Y ahora? No. Sí. Ok. Vaya, por ejemplo, este, digamos, con understand, voy a hacer la afirmativa. I understand English. Y después para, eso, eso es con I, ¿verdad? Y después tercera persona. He understands German. Ok. Entonces ahí, ya hice el, con I y con third person singular. Y el otro, digamos, write. Este, you write a poem. She writes a letter. Y ya ahí ya cumplí. O sea, una con cualquiera de las otras personas y tercera persona del singular. Y la otra lo, lo mismo. Con cualquiera de las otras personas y tercera persona del singular. Only affirmative sentence. Solo afirmativo. Okay. Ya después se van a dar cuenta por qué. Porque lo que pasa es que después se, se van a, a poner en equipos. O sea, vamos a hacer equipos. Y usted va a decir su oración afirmativa y le va a pedir a uno de sus compañeros que se la haga en negativa o interrogativa. 
Entonces, por eso ustedes solo van a hacer afirmativas ahorita, para que sus otros compañeros le hagan la negativa y la interrogativa. ¿Ya, ya agarraron cada uno sus, sus verbos? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce. ¿Quieren que se los vaya dictando? Sí. Vaya, el uno y el dos, be, become. Yo no sé a quién le tocaba a cada quien, ya cada quien sabe su número. Be, become. Tres, cuatro, begin, break. 5, 6, bring, bill. 7, 8, buy, catch. 9, 10, choose, come. 11, 12, could, do. 13, 14, drink, drive. 15, 16, eat, feel. 17, 18, fight, find. 19, 20, fly, forget. 21, 22, forgive, get. 23, 24, give, go. 25, 26, have, hear. 27, 28, heart, keep. 29, 30, grow, no. 31, 32, learn, live. 33, 34, learn, let. 35, 36, loss, made. 37, 38, Min, met, mit, min, mit. Y 39, 40, pay, put. Entonces, hacen sus oraciones en afirmativo. Este, acuérdense que en, en las diapositivas que les mandé el martes están. Este, ¿Cómo es que se hacen afirmativas, negativas, interrogativas? Y nos vemos mañana. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Eh, ¿Tienen sí, alguna teacher. duda o consulta? No, no, teacher. Si usted quiere, puede hacer las afirmativas, negativas, interrogativas para que cuando sus compañeras las estén haciendo, usted le diga si están correctas o incorrectas. ¿Verdad? Si usted quiere. Si no, usted ahí en el momento decide si están correctas o incorrectas, pero las afirmativas sí las tienen que hacer. ¿Ok? Ok. Teacher. See you. Yes. Yo entré como los últimos 15 minutos y no le entendí muy bien qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Usted entró en los últimos minutos. Sí, vale. es que es... No, no había podido entrar. Vale. Había problemas, no. y, 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 le di la, y le di cuáles eran los verbos que le tocaban. Pues se me entendía entrecortado el audio, o sea, no entendía muy bien, pero si no me equivoco, me asignó 35, 36. Vaya, entonces. No sé si alguien más lo tiene. Uh -huh. Vaya, entonces ahora, a ver, le voy a enseñar. Aquí. Eh, eh, ve la diapositiva. Uh -huh. Vale, entonces con ese verbo, con esos dos verbos que le di, usted va a hacer oraciones en afirmativo. ¿Vea? Pero por cada verbo va a ser dos. Una con cualquiera de las de los de los otros eh, personas gramaticales, o sea, I, you, we, you, they, y no. la otra con ser person singular, ya sea he o she. Uh -huh. vale, por ejemplo, digamos que mi verbo fueron watch y goes. No, watch uh -huh. y watches, para que estén más cerca. Vale, entonces uh -huh. yo digo, you watch television, esa es una. Y la otra, uh -huh. she watches the dishes, esa es la dos. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Ok. Entonces, no, no, perdón. 
you watch television y después pongo you watches television. Mm. Eh, no, yeah, she, yeah. Perdón, she watches television. O sea, you watch television, she watches television. Es eh, cada verbo va a hacerlo en cualquiera de los otros pronombres y con ter, third person singular. Entonces, digamos, ah, para okay. este watches voy a decir we wash the ditches. O sea, nosotros. Eh, we wash the ditches. Y para tercera persona, she watches the ditches. Entonces, ahí ah, están. Okay. Son cuatro oraciones afirmativas. Con cualquiera de las otras personas eh, y con tercera persona de singular, cada una. Cada uno de los verbos, como le pido verbos. Ah, ok, ok. Entonces, eh, lo obligatorio hacer las afirmativas. O sea, van a ser por lo menos cuatro oraciones. Si usted quiere, las hace de un solo también negativas e interrogativas. Esas cuatro oraciones. Pero lo, lo, que, lo que tiene que hacer es afirmativo. Porque cuando nos reunamos en equipos, usted le va a pedir a sus compañeros que las hagan negativas e interrogativas sus oraciones en, que hizo en afirmativas. Ok. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. We we'll see. Now yes. see you tomorrow. Take care. Tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.